my name is Oshin and uh, I recently graduated from KTH in master's degree in medical engineering. Currently, I'm working as a research assistant in Science for Life laboratory. Today, I'm going to introduce you to some of the career opportunities you are going to have after graduating from KTH. So, let's go. Here at KTH Entree, you can find KTH career support. Many of my friends have taken help from KTH Career Support to plan their career path and to write their first job application. They offer career coachings, support in looking for jobs, interviewing and a variety of fun seminars. So this is the office of KTH Innovation. If you have an idea during your studies, they can help you to develop it into a business. Every year, KDH supports over 300 new ideas at the early stage to reach the next level and become startups. Actually, 15% of the KTH graduates go on to start their own company. Volta Green Tech is one really cool startup company that was started by one of the classmates of Celine from earlier videos. The company produces fully natural feed supplement for cows that reduces the methane emission by 80%. Every year, Student Union at KTH arranges for Scandinavia's largest career fair here in this building. KTH offers the opportunity to interact with industries during your studies. You will most likely be working with the cases from the industries and will also have the chance to attend guest lectures within your field. I had the opportunity to visit a couple of companies with my program. One of my favorite visits was at a Swedish medtech company named Electa and they work with treating cancers and brain disorders. For the last semester, you do a master's degree project, a final thesis before you graduate. The degree project is often done in a company or in a research group and it is not unlikely that they will offer you a job once you are done. So this is where I'm going to start my PhD studies in the Science for Life Laboratories at KTH Campus Solna. Around 20% students go on to do their PhDs. PhD students are employed by the university and they receive a monthly salary. So would you say it's important to know Swedish when applying for a job? Well, it a lot depends upon what kind of job you want to apply for, but it's always very useful to learn some Swedish. I did two months free Swedish language course for immigrants, and there are also crash courses which are aimed for engineers. If you decide to leave Sweden after you graduate, you can always connect to KTH through the worldwide alumni community. We have alumni chapters in many countries such as Indonesia, Tanzania, Brazil and there is also one in my home country, India. Thank you for taking this tour. Hope to see you soon at KTH. Bye!